Hello everyone, this is my second fucking time recording this because my camera is so stupid, but you know what? I'm going to see what I can do with it. Maybe it's because I need to update it, but we're going to have to get through this quick. Or well, let's see how it goes this time. But anyways, um, look at what all came in to me today with, from this little package right here. I'm not going to show my address, weirdos. Well, actually not this. This came with my wooden tarot and earthbound oracle. Oh my gosh, this is, I just love his art. Look at that, I got a little yes, no coin. Oh my god. And there was a Patreon thing, like, no, not a Patreon, a Kickstarter thing, that if you fund at a certain time, you get a bunch of stuff. And I kind of wanted to get the mini deck, but that wasn't me. I just won it on the Tumblr. <laughs> Did you see that? My god. On the Tumblr uh, challenge or raffle randomization kind of choosing. And I won. I was one of the ten people that won on Tumblr. But, you know. It was just, oh my gosh, to win the Seekers, Lenormand, oh my gosh. And now the set is complete. We're going to show all the backs later because this is amazing. I was like on the fourth card, I think. And it just, my camera's all like, okay, you're done recording. I'm like, no, I'm not. Did I say stop? No, I didn't. So yeah, so let's, let's, for me, I'm restarting. But for you, you're going to experience this. There are a few cards that I'm not, uh, kind of happy with but they still work and they're perfect for Lenormand readings so yeah, look at that the writer so here we are the rat or the mouse from the full card and the snail from the chariot card from the tarot here we have the clover I love this with the leaf the little bug here in the in the in the ship oh my gosh it's perfect here we have the turtle for home turtle shell because that's really where the turtle lives yeah. the tree very similar to the to the tree card, to the tree card, to the to the world card in the wooden tarot. Here we have the cloud, or clouds, uh, which which has the symbol for air here. Well, it should have a line here, but that's, you know, you can't complain about that now, can we? Also, I'm very sorry if I'm talking really quietly. It is my family's here, and I don't really want to talk too loud. <laughs> but yeah, um, the snake card right here it's perfect you got that that kind of like transforming from a flower into this snake oh perfect right there here we have the coffin and usually the coffin represents an end but this is more taking that cycle kind of thing like an end but also the beginning of a cycle it really isn't typical of the coffin card but you know but i think you can just have to see it like okay the caterpillar's time has ended you know and it will become a moth or a butterfly here we have the flowers. Look at that. This is very typical of um, A.L. Swartz art. Yeah, Andrew Liam Schwartz. That's who That's who created it. You can find this on Etsy at Skull Garden, I want to say. Look at the scythe. This is perfect. A natural take on a nature... Yeah, natural take on the... On a scythe card. On a scythe. That's something that's human made. Look at this whip card. Wow. I don't like how he uses crystals as like energy. All the stones and crystals are in the tarot are the fire card, which is like supposed to be energy. And the end of the of the whip is where all that energy goes. I guess you can see that as you know. But that's again with a Norman. You're not supposed to go too into it. So here we have the birds. Again, you're gonna see very strange things in this deck. Here we have the child. Oh, it's perfect. The fox. Again, amazing. The sun card has a fox in it, and now we know where the fox's head is at. Oh my gosh. Hold on, now I gotta find it. Oh my god. And I'm probably not gonna find it really quick, but we'll see where it is. I'll have to see where it is, because I cannot, I just can't move forward without showing you. His art is crazy. Here it is, look at that. We're like, where did the fox's head go? And then Hale Swartz is like, it's in the Lenormand deck. Look at that, oh my gosh. Imagine a three voices reading with the, with all three decks. Oh my gosh, the Oracle doesn't do that as much. So here, oh my gosh, and the bear is similar to the Hierophant card, oh my god. I have to do a three voices reading. I have to practice it. Oh my god, look at the star. That is perfect. Again, it's simple, it's there, you see it, you recognize it, it's a star. It's a, you might say, oh, and I know it's a star. Here we have the stork, oh, very similar to the to the court cards could belong into the the um the air suit or the the plume suit in the tarot 
Here we have dog. This is one of the cards I didn't really like. I wish he did put a dog, but you know what? This is perfect. It has that binding kind of like connectedness for loyalty. So yeah. Is that the tower? The single tall crystal. This is perfect. Again, sturdy, strong, uh, independent. Here we have the garden. You don't see an actual garden, but you get everything that you would see from a garden. You get the wreath, you get fruit, nuts. Oh my gosh, perfect. I wish he put more flowers though. Garden isn't really necessarily for harvest and all that. Here we have the mountain. It's supposed to be earth. Again, it's very interesting how you remove the line that probably would have interrupted the art. So yeah, but it still works. It works, it's perfect. Crossroads, I like how the art kind of goes out through the borders. I like that. The crossroads. Imagine the this actually like imagine a compass like this and the crystal actually turned into that. Someone make that. Here we have the mouse. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Like, well, actually no, I take that back. It's not perfect, but I love it. Okay, it's the mouse. You can totally see it. Of course you see it's a skull, but then you directly go to the mouse. It's I think it works. I like it. It's so cute. Dark but cute. Heart. At the piercing of the crystal again crystals with his divination decks represent energy i think i kind of see that as that's what i see crystals as i think yeah and that's something you gotta work with here we have the ring oh my gosh this card is beautiful let me let me bring that in closer look at that look at that ring card sorry for the glare that's my camera light because i am filming at night because i barely checked i checked my mail too late and i pretty much almost forgot about this <laughs> that I won this deck. Look at the book. Oh my gosh. Here we have the letter. Masculine. Now this is interesting. Okay, so this is the the uh, scepter to the Emperor card. Typically that you see in the Emperor card in the Rider Waite Smith. And it's also in the... Uh, where did I put the deck? Oh, it's right there. It's over there. For the uh, Wooden Tarot as well. And the Feminine is also there as well. With the scepters, right? Like that. It's exactly the same as in the tarot. Here we have the lilies. Oh, wow. Uh, what kind of lilies are these? My mom likes these flowers, though. Here we have the sun. I like that, where it's just... I like this. This uh, inverted kind of art, I think that's what it is. That negative art. That's what it is, yeah. The moon. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Look at them side to side. He always does this. Here we have the key. Oh my gosh. It would have been cool, but I don't think he would have done this. As if the key and the... Where's that other card? I don't know where it is. Here it is in this one. Kind of connected with the ribbons, but that would have been too much to ask. <laughs> he designed it how he wanted to. And look at the fish. I love this fish. Very similar to the Perseverance card in the Earthbound Oracle. Here we have the anchor. Oh my gosh. And then here... The cross. And look at these are the back. Look at these backs. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I gotta show you the backs to the oracle. And I will be doing a walkthrough of all the decks I have. Look at that. It's very similar. The oh my gosh, what is it? The paths, I think, is similar to the guide card. It's so yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh. And then look at the backs on the tarot. The tarot looks great. Oh my I am just so happy that I have all of them together. And then plus you can get a little yes, no thing. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Oh my god. I'm definitely thinking about buying the the uh oh my god, what is it called? The coloring book and the art book all together. Oh my gosh, because look at that. I totally want to just color that. But I already have like two coloring books and I'm not even doing those, so why would I buy those? I don't know. Maybe. I'll have to see. Who knows? <laughs> Has anyone ever finished those coloring books? Has anyone ever finished a coloring book? Ever. Not even because, like, those are just starter things. That's just a, that's just a whole, for a whole nother video myself. For a whole nother day. Whole nother video. Uh, I do have some plans. Uh, not only am I going to continue unboxing videos. Well, no, not unboxing. But I also plan on doing walkthroughs of all the decks that I have. Uh, not uh, because obviously I've done the ones for uh for my uh decks that I already, that I just buy and I get in the mail like like this one right here, 
but uh, I'm buying the, or no, I'm not buying anything right now, that's the point. Uh, decks that I've already had before I even started this YouTube channel. I've always been thinking about it, but now I'm finally doing it. So, yeah. So I'm like, I'm going to do the Fountain Tarot, the, the Thoth, uh, the Albano, maybe. I'll do a comparison of the Rider Waite Smith and the Albano Waite. Who knows? Let's see what else do I have. The Mary Elf, Cosmos, Tarot, and Oracle set, the Shadowscapes, the Tarot of Klimt. Tons of other decks I'm going to do walkthroughs of. I also want to start doing... Um, not a tutorial how to read tarot because I'm still a beginner, but I do want to start doing like mm, things that I've learned that I want to give so, so I can help people catch up really quickly, kind of. You know what I mean? Things that I've learned and things that I, need, that I should clarify for people who are trying to learn tarot and are new to tarot or Oracle or Lenormand, cardamancy in general. So, yeah. Wow, this is a really quick video i do want to learn the three voices reading so yeah this has been a walkthrough of the seekers lenormand i will definitely be doing these soon not right now because like i said my family's here it's the holidays i don't want to really be doing that so yeah that is all for today uh what else oh i also want to do a i also want to study the my loteria collect the uh, uh, loteria set that i have and see what divination means uh, meanings of divination that i can give in the cards so yeah uh, i think that is all uh so yeah <laughs> uh happy holidays whatever you celebrate kwanzaa hanukkah christmas yule whatever you guys celebrate please enjoy and have a happy holidays all that st good stuff it is yeah it's christmas wow it is a christmas gift for me oh my gosh thank you al swartz Skull Garden. Thank you. Thank you for this Christmas gift. My set, my tr the trilogy is complete. I wish you could have put that right here so it could be all complete like that. But, you know, we can't have everything in life, can we? <laughs> I'm joking. Look at this. I lose. Oh, I'm so happy about this. Oh, my God. Thank you. I love your art. Maybe I'll, hmm, maybe I'll even get, get his art tattooed on me. Maybe. Maybe. I'll have to see. <laughs> but, no, that's just, uh, again, I will see you guys later. I am going way too long. I'm taking way too long for this. I'm going to look up three voices readings so I can work with my Painters du Monde, this deck, uh, my Will Worthington decks, any decks, just in general. I really want to work with three voices readings. Oh, yes. Okay, so let me throw that away. <laughs> All right, I will see you guys later. Bye.